Now, before I go any further, uh, I said, what do you want to cover first? He goes, I want to cover the MI6 spy found dead in a bag in a bathtub who had hacked the Clinton data. And that's the Daily Mail. One and Telegraph's also reporting it. It's not in U.S. news. Breitbart and a few others have carried it. What was it, two and a half years ago, David Knight did a report on this when it first happened. And it's going to be in the fourth hour today. We're bringing the fourth hour back. That's going to be a roundup with our reporters and anchors and special guests. We're going to have um, Rob Dew hosting and, and you know, uh, being the main um, anchor. And then we're going to have a commentary analysis and news on this subject and others, Jakari Jackson and Joe Biggs. Tomorrow it's going to be Leanne McAdoo, uh, and it's going to be Rob Dew again. Uh, and I think myself, I'll probably ride shotgun along with that as well. And when David Knight comes back, he'll be hosting that fourth hour probably two or three days a week uh, with the uh, guest anchors uh, as well. But we're going to play that special report that Knight did a few years ago in context to this. But when you read the article, the local police get there and say he's clearly been murdered. And you can read the articles. When MI6 gets there, who he worked for, they say, no, uh, it's normal to zip yourself up in a duffel bag from the inside out. Well, the only time I've seen something stupider, uh, and now an inquest has found there was foul play, was when people would get their arms, legs, and head cut off and be in a plastic bag at a trash dump. You don't cut your arms and legs and head off and then... It's like saying you can cut yourself up and put yourself in a bottle, like a ship in the bottle. It, it's, it's just upside down, 2 plus 2 equals 100, total malarkey bull. But this is an illustration of him hacking in. We have the Clinton chef now, Dad. Nobody likes to kill people like the Clintons. Or, as Larry Nichols says, they don't do it. People around them get the job done. And that's how La Cosa Nostra would do it. I think it's time for our friends over there. I think it's time for him to go on a vacation. And then you know what happens. But the Clintons really enjoy killing. They enjoy, Clinton enjoys getting a woman in a cloakroom with people right outside and biting them like a pit bull, biting her lip till blood drips, and then raping them. Uh, I mean, these are a savage, demonic group of people. Uh, and I don't personally even hate them. It's just I know they hate us. They hate freedom. And this dovetails with this. I don't want to go over other news with Larry Nichols and continue with phone calls um, with Mike in Oregon, another Mike in Oregon, Peter in Washington, Josh in Tennessee, Doug in Minnesota. They're on subjects all over the map. The White House trying to get this cop killing spree going. What's behind that? Larry Nichols, thank you so much for coming on with us. Hey, thank you, Alex. I didn't know you could do my voice. I didn't know I had a distinctive voice. <laughs> well, I got a raspy voice, too, but nothing like yours. I'm sure I'll get like yours, though. Well, let me say, Alex, it's, uh, I know you take heat for having me on. I, I know that. I, but, you know, heck, I don't know what else to do. You take pound for pound the things that I have said for the years you and I have known each other. And then tell me any other, you know, it's amazing. Things I tell you, they come true. It happens. Well, the Clintons come out with their side of it. The media jumps on their side of it, attacks me and you for being around me. And then theirs ends up being a lie. But after all these years, here's Hillary running for president again. And... Uh, you know, I'm still in that corner of people getting on to you for having me on. Oh, well, it's a very small minority of people. I, I mean, I wanted to talk about why I admire your courage and what you've done and, and, and explain that because I think it's an important point. We expect to get heat being in the kitchen, but it's, it, it's actually very mild. I would expect uh, more. I mean, people should really get – well, your last interview, you know, got hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube just as a gauge, millions here – uh, and each derivative of it got hundreds of thousands. So over a million people on YouTube watched the last one. Let's let's cover this subject as we go to break, and I'll come back and try to shut up and give you the floor. You talked about maybe Obama might be the last president. Since then, he made a statement about running for a third term, wishing he could. F talk about that more. Well, the thing that everybody had better watch, Obama knows what I know. There's only two people in this world that can stop him from his agenda, which is to dedicate and make himself king using 
the FEMA provisional government. And Alex, you've covered FEMA for years, so don't let anybody fool you. It's out there. They're waiting to do it. But Obama wants to be that person. And there's only two people that can stop him, Bill and Hillary Clinton, that have the power to match him. The key to this is watch Joe Biden. If Joe Biden gets in the race, then you can count on it with everything you got. Obama's planning to stay. And he's going to do what he's got to do to be able to stay there. Now, the question is, do you want Obama to be comes? You've got Hillary. She's waiting for her day. And if she can just get in this election, then she will make it collapse. Now, Alex, it's a question of whether we, the people, want to be an Islamic caliphate under Obama and lead him to global power as the leader of Islam worldwide, or do we want to become a communist country under Hillary, with Hillary appointing Bill Clinton, which I know she's going to do within six I might months. choose the Muslim thing other than being a commie. <laughs> huh? I might choose the Muslim deal over being a communist. I, well, I'm telling you, Muslims cut your head off. Commies just put you in prison. I, you know, it's a six one or another. But I will say this. Within six months, Hillary will appoint Bill Ambassador to the U.N. And then because of what they've been doing in the U.N. with the Clinton Foundation, within six months of that, they plan on him being the Secretary General of the United Nations, or in other words, the leader of the U.N., can you imagine they will have achieved what they told me about in 1986? They want to be the most powerful couple ever in the history of the world. I skipped the network break. This is so cliffhanger and so key. Go back to those talks because Clinton has now said, it was like a decade after you said it on my show, that he wants to be the leader of the U.N. with Hillary down the road being co-president. And then they bring in the world government. And then Obama, I didn't used to buy into this, but really he is trying to set up a caliphate. He is fighting right. the radical Islamicists. There is a takeover. He is doing it through Kenya. I mean, it's such double dealing. I guess they really are like on their own teams trying to get global domination. Talk about that more. Well, you know, that's the problem, Alex. We've got the best government money can buy. The problem is the people in America don't have money to buy it. But you now have two distinct people trying to get control of this nation. And it's all going to hinge on a thing called the FEMA Provisional Government Plan. Whoever is president when a crisis is declared nationally, when that day comes, whoever's president becomes king. Now, the way that works, so people will know, whoever's president takes total power. There is no vice president. Number two is the commander of the Joint Chief Staff. All Congress and senators go back to their home states and they become the government there now what that does is the president when that happens becomes king and the only person that can call the crisis over is the president and as you know nobody's going to do that in 1986 the clintons found out about this and Bill and Hillary both came to me and said we want to be there that day get us there well we joked alice can you imagine back in 1986 bill clinton and us all of the guys that were on the kitchen cabinet and him saying he wanted to be president and we're going oh yeah sure of course well we devised a plan to make him president but we figured the womanizing and all that stuff would get him so it was a joke but we started looking at reality if we ever got him there if he couldn't cash in FEMA when he was president, then you had four out years, which were the years when his term ended, and then Hillary would run. Well, you know what happened? She got beat by Obama because she didn't follow our playbook. She's following it now. That's why I can tell you every second what Hillary's doing. I can tell you, don't worry about all of this email stuff, except all of this sudden, in comes Alec, the FBI. Now, remember, Obama just appoints a new head of the Justice Department, a new director, you know, the attorney general. And all of a sudden, this attorney general sits the FBI on these FBI files. Now, Alex, let's tell the truth about that, buddy. Number one, if they prosecute Hillary over the FBI or over the emails, it'll never happen. Because, you see, if they prosecute her over that, Alex, then she's going to say, well, then I've got to use these classified emails as my defense. 
Well, when she says that, then the federal judge is going to say, well, you can't use that stuff as your defense. And then, therefore, he's going to throw the case out. He has to throw the case out. The Clintons know this. But there's one thing laying right there. Obama's got Biden getting in that race. They're going to kick Hillary down and kick her down. And if they can get Biden in, Alex, it's over. It's over. It'll never happen. There won't be an election. Obama's going to have a riot. I think you see the intensity now over this Black Lives Matter. That's what I wanted I to raise. Working at the highest levels of this, even as the New York Times admitted you were one of Clinton's top people uh, in there in the original planning. Obviously, I can see the angles of it, destabilization, all the problems. But the boldness of having Democratic Party operatives running, admittedly, all these kill the cop groups, they think they can get away with that. I guess they will. They will get away with so it. So what's the point of it? Well, the point is, this is a between the Clintons and the Obama. I don't say Obamas, I mean Obama. And where do we sit? Where do we, the people, sit in the middle of this? Well, we have got to stand up, Alex, and your program is part of it. We've got to stand up and declare we're not going to take it. And we can through states' rights, but we got to get to moving on it or it's over. But just sit back, folks, and know, I'm. hey, I'm not here telling you about Obama. Look for yourself. Do you really believe that all of these, these Black Lives Matter things are really occurring just out of the blue? Do you not think it odd that Obama has not sent his Justice Department to shut this stuff down? Hey, Alex, you get out there and tell your audience, hey, let's go kill a cop. See how long you can move around. I'm going to be arrested See, in about two hours. To your jail. Yeah. So you know that's out there. Well, then you got to ask why, folks. I'm not trying to get you to buy into a pig in the poke. I'm asking you, ask yourself why. Why is it when Obama was elected, we were told, oh, thank God, race is finally over. And he's done everything in his power and then some to make race a hotter issue now than the day the man came in. And if you don't believe he is working hard to get these riots activated, and when the riots, the riots get activated, Alex, here's the part people don't understand. When these black mobs start running wild and shooting wildly into the neighborhood, you know what people are doing in this country? They'll call up and say, please send the government and stop it, protect us. We will call for the federal government to come in and protect us. We will call for the civil emergency. We will. We'll be the ones asking for it because, you know what, we'll be scared. We'll be scared. Now, I'll tell you something else, you might as well know, and y'all going to think I'm crazy, but get ready to grease the banana truck because I'm fixing to tell you. There's a reason Cuba, we normalize relations with Cuba. Alex, you know, you've talked to enough military people yourself, and you know Obama has gone through and selectively purged the military for anybody that would dare to not take his orders under a crisis condition in this country. They're gearing up. They're getting everything lined up. It up. Well, watch this, folks. You see, Obama and his people, and I'm sure the generals have told them, when it comes to telling American soldiers to crack down on the people of America, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. It'll end pretty quick. So what has Obama done? He's gone to the one military force that I personally ran into in Nicaragua. He's got the Cuban military that will be brought in here under the auspices of augmenting, augmenting our military to help keep us in line. You know, I'd laugh at that, except I remember it was in the Washington Post after I saw it in restricted documents that were leaked about 14 years ago, right after 9-11, where they were saying in the Washington Post, we'll have Canadian and Mexican and other Latin American troops in America during a civil emergency. It predates Obama and the Clintons. And then it expanded uh, to where they're now openly pushing this idea again. And so we know they have a plan for a multinational force once there's a civil war. Uh, but that does make a lot of sense. And the Pope's coming here to call for socialism and world government. I mean, everything's really moving fast now. Everything is moving according to an area of time and has it as you get closer to an event, time compresses. 
And that's where we're at. But now remember, why Cuba? Why did we have to normalize relations with Cuba? Because that's the only place 